Alright. What's up, Carson? <laughs> Carson? Should have did this on the break. <laughs> hey. There we go. Yeah, I'm sorry about the loss last week. Yes, and uh, Matt, look, we've already look. decided that you're you're not allowed back here for a Dynamo game. You're not allowed back in Sorry, bro. Yes, yeah, so you're welcome to Houston season. anytime. Just you can't go to a Dynamo game anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say I, I feel personally responsible. So if it helps you guys, I, I feel horrible about it. Good, you should. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. We love you. So Carson, what's up? What's next for? Well, not what's next for the Toros. What happens to the Toros this weekend? Well, what happened to them? I don't know, man. Like, yeah, we were talking on, on Saturday. Thankfully, they. Well, we thought. Thankfully, they had a few Dynamo players down. They had um, Kevin Garcia, uh, Memo Rodriguez. Uh, Taylor Hunter and Escalante. So the thought would be, okay, some Dynamo players are down. It'll help them get a win. Unfortunately, uh, the conventional wisdom did not come through, and they still lost uh, 2-1. So they're actually winless, I believe, in their last six matches. So uh, dark times in the Valley, that's for sure. Yeah, in fact, uh, they their form for RGB, as you mentioned, they haven't, they haven't won. It's been a draw, loss, draw, loss, and loss. They are currently in 12th place still. Uh, they only have uh, 28 points out of uh, 28 games played. Um, and I believe uh, they have 43 goals conceded in, in these uh, 27 games played. They are actually the fifth worst in the Western Conference, just above the MLS two teams. That's saying something. Ooh. Yeah, I think anytime you're fifth worse than anything is not a good sign. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, so, I don't know, where does this put the organization? Because right now the organization as a whole is not in the greatest of positions. You know, yes, it was only a loss against Colorado, but now with the dash, now you have RGV. What, what did the Toros have to do to turn it around and finish out the season strong-ish? Yeah, the strong-ish is probably a good way of putting it. Um, I don't think they're going to make some miraculous run to the playoffs. Um, actually, an article that came out today, I was talking to Victor Garza, and really at this point it's about kind of building momentum towards the next season and then also possibly playing spoiler a little bit as well. Mm -hmm. um, me and Ed some talks. They do play San Antonio twice. Okay. Um, they also play okay. Swope Park. Every team they play here on out is in the playoffs currently. So, um, I mean, you, know, you get a little opportunity to build momentum going into the next season and then uh, and possibly mess with going, some other teams' playoff position. They're actually going against Reno, they're actually going against Reno the, this, uh, this weekend who has, you know, who's in second place. So, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty much an uphill battle just, uh, I guess you can say, like the saying in Spanish, nomás por el orgullo, just for the pride. Uh, just to try to salvage something uh, for, for the rest of the season, like you said. So essentially this is the time, just like you said, to play spoiler. So now this is the time when the team needs to come to life, you know, because you have nothing to lose now. Mm -hmm. This is the time to fight for your spot for next season. Yeah. You know, you have to you have to make yourself noticeable Yeah. for I next mean, season. Pr uh, you know? Pretty much, uh, you, whether it's to stay or for somehow, you know, try to lure you know, another team to come and and uh, and purchase you for for next season. Yeah, that's pretty much what all they're going to be playing for because. You well, know, pride. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, much. just just like Ed said, because as, as we know with with soccer in the USL especially, uh, it's honestly it's a year to year thing just because there's so much turnover. Uh, so if you're you know playing bad all season and continue to play bad, you're probably not going to be back next year. Whether it's with RGV or elsewhere, yeah, you're exactly right. Getting a chance to, you know, show yourself hopefully to Rio Grande Valley or even Houston, uh, or worst case scenario to another team in the U.S. Well. So, um, yeah, it's definitely at this point it's pride. I know Victor Garza's from the area. I know hopefully he'll, um, you know, he's playing for that, playing for that region, and a lot of the guys have adopted that as you know their home region. So, yeah. I'm playing for pride and playing for uh, a paycheck next year for sure. Yeah. So, what do the Toros have to do this weekend in order for, for them to come home with a win? E easy enough, they have to stop Dane Kelly. Um, <laughs> honestly, Reno, 
uh, themselves. They're, I think, two goals away from breaking the USL record for goals in the season. Um, hopefully that doesn't happen against the Toros. That'd be embarrassing. But uh, Dane Kelly right now is tied for the lead for Golden Boot. He actually, I covered him back in uh, 2015 when he played with Mamo in Charleston. So good friend, but, you know, F that guy this weekend. I tell him every time they play the Toros, like, hey, be a friend, you know, maybe miss a couple, which he actually did earlier this year, but then he scored anyway. So, yeah, uh, yeah they're going to have to, I don't know how, how aggressive they're going to want to come out on Saturday. I know they're going to want to try to spoil, you know, Reno. But uh, if you come out too open, I think, you know, a team that scores as many goals as Reno does is probably going to make you pay for that. Well, so, for, for starters, they're going to need to stop uh, leaving all those yeah. wide open spaces like they did against Sacramento. And, you know, that, that's a start because he, Kelly, uh, being the, just with him himself, he's got 16 goals this season. And so he, any space you give him, he's going to take advantage of it. So that that's the first thing you have, they have to look at, the first thing they have to fix if they want to get a good result against Reno. So uh, Francisco wants to, or Francisco says it's never fun to lose, but how high a, a priority should winning be? If RGV is supposed to be a developmental slash feeder club, I think it's a tough balance to, to walk that line. Um, definitely, the primary goal is development and you know to prepare players for the next level. I think where winning comes into play, especially is in the player's mindset. I know if you play consistently for a really you know shitty team, for lack of a better term that kind of losing becomes okay at that point, and that's not a mindset you want to have as a player. No. So I think being competitive and winning matches is important for somebody, a young player, to you know get that winning attitude to move on to the next level. So um, obviously you want to try to win, and you're not going to sell any tickets if you're losing every single match. So I think it plays into that, but obviously development is the number one goal. Cisco, as an RGV native and an RGV FC fan, and I speak to all, all of RGB FC fans over there. We don't care if we're a developmental team. We want a competitive team, and that's the mentality that the players should have. Yes, they're going. They want to go to the Houston Dino, but in order to do so, you have to prove yourselves at RGB FC for starters. If you don't want to prove yourself at, R at RGB FC, even if it's for selfish reasons, then you don't belong in the Dino. Simple as that. Get it. Get it, Edson. Carson yeah, with your rebuttal. you can't really argue with that just because last year the team finished second in the West and you have guys like Mamo, George Mouthy, Kevin Garcia, and all those guys going up. So that proves, you know, competing and winning matches obviously is valued, obviously along with your individual performance, but it is valued, you know, for moving forward up to the Dynamo. Well, Carson... Uh, we're going to have to close out this segment pretty shortly. We do have a extremely special guest coming on. Before um, we let you go, yes. though, when are you coming back to Houston? You're definitely not for a Dynamo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I definitely I talked to some of the guys. I'll, I'll try to get back down. I had a good time. I was in the lot. But, yeah. yeah, man. Uh, yeah, no, I, I no. you guys have a special guest coming up. I think I saw them tweet. So I'm definitely going to stay tuned for that. Yes. 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 We're about to get her uh, on right now. So, Carson, real quick, where can everybody find you? We'll go ahead and let you go. Yeah, at Carson and Merck on Twitter. And then my uh, The Bull on a Thorns article comes out every Wednesday. Same day I will, as the Peel. So that's, I will that's a nice post double a header. link to that tonight. If not, I will post a link up Excellent. tomorrow to put it in the comments. Sounds good either way. Yes. All right. Well, Carson, as always, thank you. Edson. Gentlemen. What do you guys say? Oh, yeah. And the, the Indians have won a 21 straight game. So there you go. Try. I saw that, man. That's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> in five years or something like that. <laughs> All right, Carson. Th thank you so much. And, uh, Oh. <laughs> oh. Anyways, so, so before you. we go on break, let's go ahead and, and tell y'all once again where we can, where you can find uh, us at the Peel. You can find us on Twitter at the Peel uh, 05. You can find us on Facebook at the Peel 2005. And as and as always, you can always find uh, our live streams on YouTube uh, at the Peel. And uh, later on, we'll, you can hear the recordings on SoundCloud and uh, what is it, Apple Music? Yes, Apple and Google. Apple and the Google Play Store. So. Yep. Be on the lookout to, uh, tomorrow in case you miss some sort of some part of today's show. 
we'll, we'll, we got your back, and we'll have the recordings uh, the, hopefully tomorrow. Yep. <clears throat> Justin, shut up. Fun. All right, we're going to break. <laughs> All okay. right, break time.